Hey y'all, so today I am here doing an unboxing for some custom packaging that I recently designed for my wig business. Now I've created a video like this before previously and that was a few years ago. I'm still using the same company, which is Sticker Mule. I absolutely love them. I have no issues with them, but I'm super excited because I went to their site recently and they have so many different changes. And when I say changes, that means that their previous products have gotten better and they also have added so many different other things to their lineup. It's crazy. The last video I created was maybe like two, three years ago. They have tripled the amount of things that you can get from their website. I have purchased so much stuff, custom t-shirts, stickers that I put on all of my um, business related stuff, you know, for branding purposes, wall decals, um, keychains. I'm trying to think because it's so much stuff. <laughs> keychains. Did I say t-shirts already? Um, stickers, labels for bottles. I've ordered so much stuff from this company. I have no complaints. But anyway, let's get into the unboxing because I don't want this video to be too long. And I'm hoping that everything turned out the way I wanted it to turn out. So first things first, I'm gonna show y'all a preview of the items that I designed, which are very simple. For my business, um, because I sell wigs, I sell custom wigs, and those are priced anywhere between $285 all the way to a little over $1,000. So it's important to me that my packaging is very discreet, and it never says wigs, hair, or any of that on any of my packaging. So that's why I choose to keep my packaging very plain and simple and discreet. Nobody needs to know what's inside of my packages. Um, so yeah, so these, oh, my phone has a glare, so I'm just going to have to put on the side somewhere what my designs end up looking like. I do create my designs in Canva, which is a free app that you can use. And I'm going to leave the link to Canva and Sticker Mule. I have a referral link for Sticker Mule that will help you save $10 off of your purchase. So the links for Canva and sticker mule are going to be in the description box. My process basically is I go to sticker mule first and I see the size, like the dimensions of whatever it is I'm trying to get. So for instance, with the poly mellows that y'all are gonna see, if I remember correctly, those are 13 by 10. So once I know those measurements, I go to canva.com I enter in um, a custom dimensions to get a custom size. I put in that size and then I start designing it how I want. When I'm done with my design, I save it as a PNG file and then simply I just upload the file onto stickermule.com. I'll show you exactly how I do this um, so I can walk you guys through it step by step. But, um, or maybe I already edited it into this video and showed it on the screen as I was talking. Hopefully that's what I did, but, um, it really is that simple to create your designs online and then to get them printed out. So, uh, I can see the pink. Oh, the pink is so pretty. Okay. So these are definitely poly mellows. Now, <laughs> once upon a time, they only had regular poly mellows and then they eventually added padded poly mellows to their lineup. The padded poly mellows have been there for some time, but one of the main differences is that, y'all see it, it's so simple, I know. But one of the major differences is that before you can only put one image and it had to be on the front and then it had like a white outline around everything. Let me see if I can show you with a different one. Okay, so these are some items I've ordered from them previously just to give you an example. So before, this is a polymella. 
And the most you could do is add a design on the front, but the edges were always white and then you could not add anything on the back. And then here's a larger one, same thing. You can add the design on the front. It has the white border around the front. And then it's just a regular white back. You couldn't add anything to the back. But now it's full bled. So I think, I think full bled is the word. So now you can add a design to the front and you can also add it to the back. Now, because these are just padded poly mailers, this is what you're gonna put the sticking, la the shipping label on. I wanted to keep this as plain as possible. So all it says is WBE, which stands for Wigs by Ebony, but I wanted it to be in my brand colors. So this is a light pink with a green, so the colors is super cute. Bam, okay? So these are pretty plain, but I wanted them to be plain. You could design them however you want to design them but i'm absolutely in love with this currently i've been using the free okay. lately i've been shipping everything out with the usps priority mail flat rate padded envelopes these are free on usps website but I find that it's actually cheaper <laughs> to ship it out with your own um, packaging if you have it. And again, I'm all about branding. I'm really big on branding and making sure everything is cute. Like when you're in the beauty industry, everything got to be pretty. So it's important to me that I was able to get my own custom packaging. This is the same size, just to line it up. These are the same sizes. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. It's literally the same design on the front and on the back. Okay, look. Now the next thing is what's new. These are the pouches. Mm, I was wondering how they fit in here. They folded them. <laughs> These are the pouches. Oh my goodness. So again, it says WBE. Um, it stands for my company, Wix by Ebony. Now, I plan on putting these inside of these. So technically, I could have designed this more. It could have had an image of wigs or whatever I wanted on this because this would essentially go inside of here. But my goal um, is to put hair bundles and stuff inside of this. So usually I would use a satin bag, but I just wanted to switch things up and see what this was about. I thought it was cute and I I thought it was cute and I love being creative. inside it looks like a regular pouch usually when people have stuff like this they put um like food or like supplements herbs um i don't know wax wax the little wax gel thingy circle thingies <laughs> um usually people don't put hair in this but again like i just like to be different so so yeah, it's the same design front and back. I think it's super cute. And I don't think a wig can fit in this. This is too small for a wig. But then again, who knows? Let's see. Hair bundles can definitely fit in that. So here is a wig that I have. Oh, it's plucked beautifully. So this one already have a hair net around it. So it's already folded up. Usually my wigs are folded. Yeah, this is too small to fit the wigs in. Is it possible to fit a wig in here? Yeah, but 
when I think about curled wigs and stuff, wigs would not fit in here. I would probably have to go up a size, but hair bundles for sure can fit in here. But bundles definitely can fit in here. And then basically you can just seal it shut. Put one inside of the other. Seal it shut. Put a shipping label on that bad baby and ship it out. So this is really cute. I'm happy that I gave this a try. I only ordered a little bit of these because I was unsure of how big these would be. Let me see if there's a size bigger than this one. All right, I'm on their website. Packaging. Stand-up pouches. Okay, so that happens to be the largest size that they have currently. So I do think that this is really good for bundles. So I can put my bundles in here and um, and yeah, I like it. I like it. So hopefully this video has been insightful and have given you some different ideas of what you could do for your business and just getting custom packaging for your business. Custom packaging is just really good for Enhancing your brand's identity. Branding is very important. It's how people recognize you. It's how people recognize your brand from other brands. It's how you are able to stand out in a crowd, in a saturated market. So I'm always gonna encourage you to invest in your branding. And branding isn't just the cute stuff, like the custom packaging and the logo and the colors and stuff. Branding is so much more than that. It is your, your personality, it's the tone that you use. It is how you write your messaging. It is what you stand for, your values. Branding is so important, whether it's a personal brand or you're building a brand separately for your business that's outside of you. I do have a branding course for anybody that's interested in building a strong brand identity for their business. And I will leave that in a link down below as well. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful and until next time.